Yo, so something really, really stupid has happened in Wuthering Waves. And when you find out why it ended up happening, you'll realize it's even stupider than that. But really stupid people and really stupid situations like this are rather entertaining because of how sheer dumb that they are. So let's go ahead and dive into this thing. First, we're going to take a look at what happened in Wuthering Waves, and we're going to take it look at what like something else we can compare to that already happened in wondering ways and then we'll take a look outside of the game at why this ended up happening because there's a movement going on in china right now in the gaming sphere that is god the gotta be the dumbest thing i've ever heard of in my entire life so let's go ahead and take a look at this as you can see here on the left we have scar and on the right we have um, scar and if you couldn't tell the difference between these two images is because they're nearly the gosh darn same the difference is this zipper right here on the left and you uh you can't see it on the right there because it's just sort of not there why because players in china complained about this zipper because it was too sexualizing yeah and let's take a look at this image here of Ye of yinlin Yinlin on the right is the Yinlin we're going to be getting in the game. The Yinlin on the left is the previous version of Yinlin that we had. Players expressed their concerns and they wanted to see an improvement upon some of the character designs in the game. And this is one of those character designs that we saw an improvement on, which I honestly think is a great improvement. And I'm not just talking about these two great improvements right here, her boobs. These boobs could have googly eyes on them, and I would still consider this a really great model design. As you can see on the left here on this chest, you see this very, very flat fabric-y line. It just feels very uninspired because, as you can see, she clearly has a chest here, and there's no human being on the entire world that has a completely flat chest. Even a man doesn't have a completely flat chest, so this just, this just made no sense. Despite the fact that this model, for the most part, is actually very, very good, there were just some things that we wanted to see tweaked a little bit on characters like this. Clearly, there could have been an improvement. And when you look at the character on the right, you can clearly see there was. Look at how good this design looks. The sheen on some of these little pieces here. You can see, like, the headband even added to the hair. The earrings. I think the colors of the eyes were actually maybe even better on the one on the left, but I'm not really complaining because look at all this other stuff. Look at the LED in the arms. Look at the chain around the arms as well. Look at the buttons on the neck piece that weren't there before. Look at the, the clarity, the sharpness, the shadow on even the abs, dude. There's so much more going on here that we didn't have going on before. This is a major improvement. Yet, at the end of the day, this is a little bit more of a sexualized character. So, how come it's okay to make changes that sexualize the women of the game, but not allowed to even have a zipper as a man? God forbid that Scar ends up having some Taco Bell and needs to take a dump somewhere. Oh my, he's going to have to take off this entire jumpsuit. What? God forbid this guy have some P.F. Chang's and they put a little bit too much chili in his sauce and he ends up having to take a dump because he's going to have to end up shitting his pants, apparently, because hopefully this guy ends up bringing some extra pair of clothes around with him everywhere he goes inside of this bag around his chest. That's probably another pair of underwear just in case he ends up pooping himself because apparently he's not even allowed to have a zipper. Gosh, darn it. God, it's so stupid. Now, where does this all sort of stem from? So this post here made by Nerushio, if you don't know who Nerushio is, they actually have this, you know, pretty popular Twitter, it seems like, because this post ended up getting over a million views. Oh my God, this is insane. And the other image we're going to be taking a look here, or the other post we're going to be taking a look here, almost also got a million views on it as well. Now, Nerushio also has a YouTube channel as well. They do cover some Weather and Wave stuff. So I'll go ahead and link their information in the pinned comment and description below in case you're interested in that, as well as I hope I don't butcher this name, but it's at Alain Al Al Altria. Alain Altria. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name. I'll be put uh, giving you guys your links in the pinned comment and description below. So go check them out and give them some love and support. Anyways, let's take a look at this um, because this goes outside of the game and talks about a movement that's happening in china that caused this whole entire situation what is that movement called it's called men won't play i guess you can probably see where we're going with this but let's go ahead and talk about the situation first scar design was changed due to the china backlash 
please speak about this situation or please speak about this issue as on the global side cn's complaints are not global's problems i got you bro i'm talking about it and i'm sure a lot of other people are talking about it as well i think i saw tectone made a post about this as well so let's go ahead and keep moving here um so I hope the Weathering Waves global teams understand and give different patch for the global and for CN. I don't think they'll probably end up reverting this because it's not honestly that big of a deal. I mean, just look at the different the differences here. There's not really a whole lot different there. But at the end of the day, when the CN network complained, they got something done. They ended up making a change when we all complained uh, not complained but when we all gave constructive criticism for some of the outfit designs of the characters they ended up making a change so apparently with a studio like kuro games if you just complain enough they'll end up making a change you can get something done if you just complain enough with these guys apparently now it goes obviously deeper than this whole thing so whether we see a change or not is to, uh, who cares at this point this, this is so stupid this particular image right here nobody cares about this really it's just stupid it's just dumb what's more entertaining is to laugh at how dumb the situation is in my personal opinion if you want to get a change done go ahead and complain about this situation i'm making a video about this so at the end of the day i guess i care about this situation too now let's talk about how this whole situation ended up happening this is what i really wanted to talk about i talked about all this other stuff just to be able to get to this point here so let's go ahead and take a look on the china on the chinese internet a whole movement named men won't play is gaining popularity what they are complaining about is the chinese mobile game uh that is that chinese mobile games seek success in catering to a wider audience that basically means men women lgbtq plus community and everybody outside and in between basically they're catering to everyone rather than just men of gaming the answer that they decided to come up with this is to cry about every single man ever in a game, every single male character, every single male NPC to try to get them removed out of the game. Now, there is a Japanese language article that you can use Google Translate on to sort of like go take a look at, you know, the bigger picture of where all of this is. But thankfully, Alien Altria ended up taking some screenshots of some of the more important images. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, there is some Google translation errors here. So you might notice that I'll be saying things slightly different than what is written here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. The smartphone PC game Snowbreak Containment Zone is a game that caused Chinese gamers to change their minds in response to the men not allowed to play movement. I've actually played this game. It's a good game at its core, but unlike Wuthering Waves, they did not listen to their fans early on enough, and they didn't implement changes to their game before the game came out or even after the game came out. The people, players had to start leaving their game and they had to start getting worried that they're going to have to like shut their game down. That's how far it got before they finally started implementing changes into their game. And now they're getting so desperate that they'll even remove all of the men from their game to cater to the Chinese market. Now, as you can see from what it says here, the Snowbreak Containment Zone went really hard with this. All men, all male NPCs will all be deleted from the game. Snowbreak Containment Zone announced earlier this year that it would remove male characters from the game and replace their character portraits, dialogue, etc literally all the male characters all the male npcs god forbid there's even a picture of a man inside of a building inside of a map somewhere on a wall god forbid because that guy's gone he's gone everybody's gone oh did a man talk in the game god forbid a man hit up one of these characters on a walkie talkie during a mission and say look out behind you there's an enemy nope that guy doesn't exist anymore He's been replaced by a woman, more than likely. So all of the male voice actors and all that stuff, they all just lost jobs it's because of this whole stupid situation. Now, let's go ahead and move forward to a different situation here before I lose my voice, because apparently I'm losing my voice. So stick with me on this one. Anyways, <clears throat> however, the official account um, announced that the this is, by the way, Azure Promelia. However, the official account announced that the gender of the protagonist can be chosen. Oh, no, you didn't. 
You can choose the gender? What do you mean choose the de gender? Isn't there only one gender? Female? Yeah, these guys have lost their minds. Immediately after the official account post um, received over 90,000 views, comments um, were immediately flooding in and the conversation went viral. Chinese 2D gamers could not tolerate the appearance of a male character whatsoever, even if he was in, even if he was the main character. The main character of a lot of games is very bland, and the main character is that way on purpose. Link from Zelda, for example, doesn't even have any voice lines. He's never had any voice lines. He's, he, he only grunts or goes, mm hmm. He literally doesn't even talk so that the player can sort of insert themselves in the game. That's what they're kind of like designed to do. It's very rare for these type of games to have voice acting for the main character because they want you to insert yourself into that position. So men in China are so fed up with themselves that they don't even want to be a man anymore. They'd rather be a woman. And hey, if that's what you want to do, all power to you, I guess. But it doesn't seem like you guys are doing it for the right reasons. <laughs> so yeah, they basically took this all back. The company responded immediately. The next day, after the controversy, they reversed their policy stating, Azure Promelia only features female characters, and the images posted on the internet are not true. Does that manipulation tactic sound familiar to you? Let's read that again. Azure Promelia only features female characters, and the images posted on the internet are not true. As you can see from this image here, it's very obvious that if you click the character on the right, it, the character on the right will highlight, and that's the gender that you chose. If you highlight the character on the left, this one in shadow right now, the one in on the right will go black, and the one on the left will highlight and lighten up, and that's the character that you choose, either male or female, as you can see. This manipulation tactic here, Azure Promelia only features female characters and the images posted on the internet are not true. That's... Does that remind you of anything? Remember Star Wars? These aren't the droids you were looking for. Remember? Remember? What was it? What was it? Avatar The Last Airbender? There is no war in Ba Sing Se. This is the same exact manipulation tactic used by Star Wars and Avatar The Last Airbender. This situation is so stupid. It's trash. Let's go ahead and take a look at another dumb situation. There's a slang term now associated with this movement going on in China. It's called mixed toilet. Literally means unisex toilet. But among Chinese internet users, especially gamers, it seems to be used in a negative sense as a slang to refer to anime style smartphone games that have both male and female characters. So as you can kind of tell, the connotation that sort of goes along with this is that these men of China don't seem to think that they could eat. They can't even fathom the idea of an all male character game even existing. There's only two different kinds of games that exist. All female character games and games that feature male and female characters. They can't even comprehend that a game with all men even exists. So don't tell them that in China, Hoyoverse have a game that features all male characters because you're gonna hurt their feelings. You're gonna break the immersion. Anyways, all female character games, good. Male and female character games are literally shit. They're literally mixed toilet. So petty, so stupid, so dumb. Let's take a look at this last situation here before we close things out. Now, because of the way this was presented, it's kind of out of context from the original article. So I'll sort of give you, I guess you could say like the TLDR or whatever here. In the end, Raymond was replaced by a female NPC. This NPC ended up having communication with one of the main characters in the game. God forbid your imaginary waifu talked to a man. What if one of these men in China like what if what if you were a man in China and you had a wife and you went to the grocery store and while you went to go look at the bananas, your wife was overlooking at the cereal and all of a sudden she had to take a dump and you weren't around and she had to go to the bathroom like really, really bad. And the only person nearby was a male customer service worker, a male like cashier or a male grocery store worker. 
They're not allowed to talk to them, apparently. If you talk to a man, you're going to end up getting replaced by a woman or some crap. This is so stupid. What is she going to do? What's her wife going to do? Is she just going to is she, is she just gonna have to shit her pants right there in the cereal aisle? Is she just going to have to take a dump right there on the floor? I hope she's not wearing white pants. This shit is so stupid. However, Raymond's removal from the game was not good enough to satisfy fans. That's right. They were so scarred from this imaginary situation that they ended up, um, what is it? Dai Yan ended up being nicknamed to Mrs. Raymond in China, and they labeled that character a cuckold. Yeah. It wasn't good enough that they changed the character to a female. They also had to make the character a cuck. So petty so stupid i can't imagine what it is like to be in china right now now something that i'm sure we're going to end up farming comments on by accident is obviously this is not all of the chinese players this is clearly a vocal minority that has caused this entire situation to happen i bet if you made a poll in china most players would not want these things to be a thing most players would not want this to exist. If you are a developer, you're not going to hear the players that are like, yeah, that snow brick containment zone. Yeah, it's, a, it's good. I guess it's a good game. You're not going to hear that from the players that like the game. What you're going to hear in on Twitter and in your comments and all that stuff is people that are like, what are all these men doing in the game? Get them out of my stupid game. Get them out of my, not my game, not my country. We're not, we're trying to make our game great again so so petty so so stupid but again don't take it the wrong way don't blame all of china for this it's just a vocal minority china is probably embarrassed of this entire situation even happening so my suggestion to kuro games is hey man when your players give you constructive criticism obviously it goes a long way but why are you gonna listen to the dumb people complaining about a zipper. This is way different than this. Why are you allowed to sexualize the woman? Now, and by the way, no one's upset about this, by the way. But how come you're allowed to sexualize the woman, but you can't even let a guy have a zipper? This is so, so, so petty and so, so, so stupid. And if you like stupid situations like this, if you like gotcha gaming, Hoyoverse games, Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, Weathering Waves, or even Elden Ring DLC. I'll see you in a month when that comes out. Consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help out. Anyways, I'm going to go get some water. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.